Graham. We're joined by Bal Graywall. There's no lawyer on council. You're a lawyer. Is that something you think that uh, a council should have? I believe so. Uh, lawyers, lawyers understand policy. We understand legislation. We take large amounts of information. Uh, we're able to break it down, synthesize it, and then implement it uh, in our day-to-day -day practice. Right. Um, and, and these councils get a council package a couple of days before the meeting, hundreds of pages correct. sometimes, pretty hard to digest so quickly. If you've never done that, yes, but as a lawyer, we do this on a regular basis. This is what we do on a day-to-day. -day. Um, so it's not something that's going to be out there too complex and not to say the issues aren't complex, but the fact of reading and going through it, that's just part of the job and that's what we do. Um, so taking in large amounts of information, breaking it down, understanding it, and then relaying it out so that it actually makes sense. Um, it's what we do, and I think that's really important. So um, apart from bringing some legal expertise, what else sort of gets you in the mindset that you think you could add something to this council? I think I bring a fresh perspective. Um, as you know, city council has been there for many, many years. Uh, someone that comes in, I've been around, the, traveled around. I've also lived in different cities, um, some of the same cities that we are getting compared to, such as Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, um, and even regional hub cities such as Abbotsford or Red Deer spent time in all these cities and they've had a significant growth that's happened and how they've implemented their policies and what the positives and negatives are. Um, we can take, take from them and we can also implement our own policies and taking a little bit of a more progressive approach to things uh, instead of just doing what we've done in the past. Let's have some reform to our policies. Let's try to think forward uh, thinking and strategic thinking in terms of what's actually needed it for our community here and how we can actually best serve our community as opposed to just doing the same old, same old. Right. A couple of the big issues that tend to come up are homelessness and housing affordability. Do you have any uh, great suggestions on how we can manage those issues? Funny you say that. Uh, yeah, you're very, very right, Krent. Uh, we have these issues. I myself understand the housing affordability. I'm a renter myself, so I understand the plight of the regular man here and women. Um, and I think we need more housing. Not necessarily does that mean that we need to focus downtown and bring high rises. Uh, we have a great, beautiful city. We can develop in other parts of our city. Um, homelessness, same thing. Uh, I don't think throwing money and bringing in just more police officers will solve the issue, which is what has happened in the past. I think we need to take a different approach, try to come out, think outside the box, and truly try to tackle it so we can help these people, not just throw them in jail and they come back and Hence, our property crimes are so high now, right? It's repeat offenders. So uh, in terms of these issues, they're complicated issues, but, and people, there is, it's complicated in terms of there is provincial legislation, there is municipal legislation, and there is a difference in powers. But I think city council has a lot of power in terms of what we implement as policy and how it's carried out um, is obviously within the city, but uh, we can tackle these problems if we really take a different approach than what we've been doing before. Terrific. So, um how do you approach the campaign? So many people running. Do you do you have uh, you know a good war chest to kind of pay for an elaborate campaign? I don't know how you get noticed when there's so many candidates. You know what? You're, you're right, Kent. Um, no, I don't have a large fundraising stack of money somewhere. Um, I am a very much grassroots uh, campaign here. Uh, it's I'm, a, I'm an individual in the city. I'm speaking for my fellow citizens in terms of what I'm hearing, and I believe that I can make that change. And so it's going to be. Getting out in the community, it's door knocking, it's uh, talking to people, YMCA, I go there regularly, I talk to people there. Just getting people's uh, thoughts and opinions and just seeing if we can make the difference there. Terrific. Yeah. Thanks and best of luck in your campaign. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now. Thanks.